Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and this is a Camelot production. Golden Sun. Actually, it's kind of funny if you guys... Does anybody watch Kunk on Earth? It's a British uh, parody series. Philomena Kunk goes around exploring the world. <laughs> there's, a, there's a joke she does. She's talking to a... It, it, she actually interviews real professionals and stuff. And she interviews a historian about King Arthur. And she's like, he came a lot, didn't he? And the look on the historian's face. She spent her entire year, earned her entire life, years of her life devoted to the, st the academic pursuit of understanding the history and the myth of King Arthur. Reduced to that. Anyway, whatever. Golden Sun, some kind of RPG. We'll mess around with it for a little bit here today. Um, I didn't know what it was getting into with Golden Sun. Um... But, uh, you know, as I've said in other videos, I think I've accepted that for, um, you know, these RPG games, we're never really going to get past some of the opening levels, but that's okay. It's about the experience of trying new games. And I always like coming back to the Game Boy Advance because it really does feel like a lost set of Super Nintendo games. Um, actually, I should be paying attention to this story. I'm kind of just skipping through, but it's always the same, like something... Something crazy is happening. You got to go out and fight evil and uh, blah, blah, blah. We'll figure it out. I was talking to somebody recently, though. Uh, there was some... Uh, I was in a car ride with someone that had some Radiohead on. Um, or not Radiohead. Matthew Good Band. And I was like, man, I haven't heard Matthew Good in forever. And I really... I, you know, used to like that music back in the day. I still like him. Uh, the band is pretty good. Um, and I enjoyed the song, and I, I was sort of asking, like, is this, you know, like, one of the big ones from back in our day? I couldn't really remember. And, uh, she was saying how, um, you know, one thing she's gotten into recently is, uh, you know, going back to albums, uh, that had hit songs, uh, that, you know, from different bands that you liked, and listening to the other songs on the album, because it feels like getting new songs that you haven't heard from that era, which is what it is, right? And I feel like the Game Boy Advance is like new Super Nintendo games that were never on the Super Nintendo that I never got to play, so... Um, yeah, anyway, they asked me if I can stop a boulder. I don't know, I'm just a kid. Uh, so take refuge in the plaza, blah, blah, blah. Help evacuating the other villages, villagers. Um, I get like a weird sense of deja vu, like I've played this before, but... Maybe it's, I mean, you know, at this stage, what are we, 867 games in? If I'm not getting deja vu, I think there's a problem. Oh, there's the boulder. It's a huge rock that Isaac's strength can't even budge. Uh, could we go in? Psy energy, did you guys see that? Let's just explore this town for a bit. See what's going on. I don't know if there's an ability to run, doesn't seem like there is. So I had a Game Boy back in the day. It was my most prized possession. Ugh, ugh. We'll start paying attention to the dialogues now. What do you want? I'm trying to save my things. What do you want me to just dump my stuff? Yes. You think I should forget these things and save my own life? You know, you're right. Okay, let, <laughs> that, that took a lot of convincing. This, this, they couldn't even move it one tile. And then they're like, well, I guess I'd rather live than have stuff. Uh, we shouldn't go north. It'll take us towards Mount Aleph. Okay, the plaza's over that way. We need to head south. All right, let's do it. Anyway, my Game Boy was one of my most cherished game uh, possessions back in the day. I would have tried to save it from a storm. And it's because it's like I could, you know, go on car rides. I could... Uh, you know, like, go on vacations. I could just sit in my room and I could play all the video games I ever wanted to play. Um, like, I did have a Nintendo and Super Nintendo at different points, but eventually it's like my parents didn't want me, like, using them on the TV and different things. So it's like I, I didn't have access to them consistently, but the Game Boy was, like, always a friend, uh, that you could, you could, uh, play with. And I got the battery pack so I could plug it into the wall. And I didn't use the battery pack, the battery wore out really quickly, but I didn't care. I could plug it in. Because otherwise you had to go through, like, trip, double-A batteries. Like, it was, it was, you know, going out of style, so. Anyway, too heavy. We can't hold it for long. Our Psy energy is running out. Valve will be destroyed. Oh, no. We have to hold on until the villagers are safe. 
Dude, get in the moment here. Hurry, boys, run! It's just a little father. <laughs> Come on, let's run. The boulder's coming. Where are we running to? Oh, we're running down here. I didn't even notice these were stairs. Oh my god. There's a boulder in my way. Can't get around this rock. We have to find another way around. Alright, let's go this way. Oh my god, just... R random, perfectly shaped rocks just hanging out. Right, I like how there's like one big rock coming for the village. They're like, the whole village will be wiped out. Just like, want to just destroy the few buildings in its path and then carry on. Rock slide. Destroyed fence. Monsters. Everywhere. Oh no. I'm hurt pretty bad. Do you think I'll die? Yes. I knew it. This is it for me. Save yourselves. Uh, uh if I said no, I wonder what would have happened. Now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I was just saying yes to whatever they asked me. I'm only a child. Give me a break. It's very Legend of Zelda y, this sort of, uh, you know, perspective. And ooh, that was kind of a cool 3D effect. Vermin! Look, we don't have time for this. There's a boulder coming to kill us all. It's like a rat that came out with, uh, like a broom. Tax. I like the little icons they have for everything. Attack the vermin, boys! I didn't even know we were armed. I just thought we were children, but apparently we've got swords and capes and we're like decked out. This mouse isn't even fighting back. <laughs> also, it took us three swings of a sword to kill a mouse. We only got two pathetic experience points and two gold coins. Where was that mouse keeping that gold, I wonder? Oh, another random encounter. So, random encounters are not my favorite system for combat. I don't mind having, like, like randomly spawning enemies and stuff that you have to fight. Um, it's not like these enemies are particularly hard, but what's annoying is, like, this path looks clear. I'm gonna walk here, and I will just either have an encounter or I won't. Like, I think random encounters take away player agency. Uh, Mario RPG did have, uh, random encounters too, but you could see the enemies on the overworld, and so you could decide if you want to try to avoid them, try to just fight them, you could also sneak up on them. Like, I feel like that's a way better system, because it puts more agency in the player's hands, as opposed to just walking around and, like, you can't even see anything on the map, right? It's like, oh, all of a sudden, now there's an enemy, and now you're gonna fight them. Um, it's, a, it's basically like being mugged, you know? Like, I didn't ask for this. Just, just sort of happened randomly, and I had no say in the matter. Nope. Guess not going that way. I feel like these little rocks are more deadly. Oh, guess we're not going that way. Uh, because they, they just sort of like keep falling all over the place. That one big rock. I'm convinced the one big rock is not a big as big a deal as it seems. Um, these are stairs. The stairs really blend right into the. The mountain there makes it difficult to. Oh, oh, okay. Are we just boned? Oh, what? How? Which way are we supposed to go here? Try going back up, I guess. Kind of confused here. Okay, can I go down this way? Oh, there's stairs here. See, I didn't even think there were stairs here, um, because uh, it was sort of blocked off. So, oh, and there's stairs over here. Okay, I just gotta get, like, my stair goggles on. Oh no, my brother! Oh no! <laughs> Felix, we'll be alright, we'll find a way to save him. Oh no! We'll get to the other kids, they're like, do you think he drowned? I'm like, yes! And they're like, alright, well, that's that. Oh, he's still there. Uh, the rope won't reach, should we use Psy energy? Do you have any left? I've used mine up. What about you, Kyle? I've drained it from helping the other other villagers. We have to get help. Hang on long enough for us to find help. Okay. Okay. See, this this is where in the video games it's like, okay, and scene. And scene. And scene. <laughs> Why did nobody edit this script? It's like, okay, time to move on. Oh my god, they're still talking! <laughs> we get it! Yeah, somebody needs Psy energy. If only somebody had Psy energy. Maybe I'll go north and find somebody with Psy energy. I'm gonna head north. Maybe somebody will have Psy energy. If only we had more Psy energy. It's like, fucking move on! <laughs> Do 
You saw what happened. Yes, I did. I have to go get help before Felix drowns. I don't suppose two of you could help. Yes, I'm just saying yes to everything. Jen has gone to the plaza up north to get help. Go join her. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go south and help this little boy. Boom. Like, you didn't even need to have most of that dialogue. You could have just shown a boy drowning and be like, We need more Psy energy! And then, like, let the player connect the dots. I think I could have done it. Hang on, Felix. Help is on the way. Don't go, Felix. Oh, Isaac. You two don't have Psy energy to save Felix. Go find help. Oh, okay. So we're totally useless. I mean, that's fine. They could have just done that. I w it would have been accepted. What if I just go south? Maybe I'm like, screw you, kid. Oh, there's nowhere to go. Oh, he's right near a waterfall. And that water is brown as the day is long. It's not the kind of water you want to get swept up in. All right. So she went up to the village, she said? It's like we have to backtrack all this way. Not 100% sure. I'm assuming this is the wrong way because all this got blocked off. But you never know. Uh, yeah, it's all blocked off. So here's my guess. We're gonna get some Psy energy and we're gonna start moving boulders with our mind. But for right now... We're just, uh, you know... Useless. Alright. The village. Up this way, I guess? At least I'm not getting any more annoying random encounters. See, that's the thing about random encounters. When you have somewhere to be, they're, like, rather annoying, and sometimes you'd rather skip them. But when you have no agency to do so, it takes away your ability to do things, you know? Anyway, it's fine. They actually didn't go overboard with the random encounters. They seem to be over, in fact. I wonder if there's, a, like, a, only a set number of monsters that you have to slay, and... I'll take us up towards Mount... A left. Plaza is that way. We need to head south. Okay. I have no idea where that lady went, by the way. Like, no idea. Absolutely no idea. Let's see. Oh, there's... there's we didn't explore any of this. Hey, tomatoes. Can't do anything with them. Can you sleep in the bed? Take a sword off a wall? See, a game like this, it's hard to know if there's anything you can interact with in the house. I think this is all just for effect. You need some item that has, like, you know, been drawn clearly differently from the background, so you know you can pick it up. With nice, clear black edges or something. Uh, let's see... So I wonder what our village... This is my bedroom, by the way. This is where we started. I wonder what my village de did to call upon the fury of the rocks. A bunch of rocks coming to kill us all. So... Okay, anything further south? Nothing. Can't go there because of the rock. Can't go. Oh, the, this is, uh... Huh. That's where I was. Okay, I'm so confused as to, like, where we're actually supposed to go now. Now I have no idea. <clears throat> Maybe we can get in here? No, it's sealed. Sealed up tight. Okay, we can't go up. So they want us to go over. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing down that way. Like, I, I'm actually a little perplexed. <laughs> what the F are we supposed to do here, man? Uh, like, what is my quest, even? Status? Okay. Uh, like, I don't know. Maybe this guy can help. Uh, this is it for me. Save yourselves. Okay. I want to, like, go over his, uh, fence, but I can't even do that. Can I go over this way somewhere? No. Over this way? This is really perplexing. What am I missing here? Jesus. Um, can we go up? 
Nope, that's blocked off. Nice try, Jay. I should have followed that lady. Where the fuck did she go? <laughs> I have no idea. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be returning down here. The, what the hell, man? What gives? I feel like this is like the second time in recent memory we've played a game where it's like, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, alright. I was gonna say, it's like the second time in recent memory we played a game where it's like, where the, where the hell do we go? I thought I was supposed to go back to the village. They did not make that clear at all. They're like, you don't have the Psy energy to help. Get out of here. It's like, what direction should I go, Chief? It's like, get out of here! <laughs> Also, we're about to die to, like, bats and vermin. Taking a hell of a lot of damage. We fell the bat. Hey, you know what? At least we found a way to go. I think. I don't know, actually. Maybe we have been over here. My memory's, uh, all a blur now. Oh, no. You know what? There's F and nothing. Oh, wait, no. There's a path. Okay, thank thankfully they colored the terrain to help me see this path. Okay! A new area to be. All right. Take it back. We're back on track, folks. I was losing all hope there for a minute. We are back on track. Nothing in the barn. What's going on? Let's just kick in every door systematically. All these houses look rather identical and rather boring. These these environments are pure placeholders. Like there's nothing to do in them. Give me, like, a little pot I can kick open and get a few coins or something, at least. Like, maybe we can. Well, I can check the barrels. I mean, you know, make the barrels and bookcases, like, look a little different or something? Psi energy is replenished by touching a Psi energy stone. Oh. Well, that was actually some useful information right there. You see, reading can make a difference. God, make these stairs stand out more, too, please. They should be, like, gray or something. Keep not noticing them. Hey, old people. No thanks. Let's see what we got here. Is anyone manning this store? Can we just, uh... <laughs> I like how this box literally has swords, like, just falling out of it. It's like, he checked the box, didn't find anything. Nothing of value here, I guess. Jenna went off that way. Okay. You expect an old woman like me to use Psy energy? Don't ask the impossible. Huh? Are you asking me if I can use Psy energy, Isaac? Yes. Well, if I were ten years younger, I'd have plenty to offer, but I'm too old. Not this guy. Oh, I'm exhausted. He used up all my Psy energy deflecting falling rocks. You know. Sleep in the rain, dude. Just sleep in the... Sleep in a pile of your own mess. I don't know. There's Gemma. Oh, a little Felix has fallen into the river. That must be why Jenna looked so upset. Yeah, you you want you think? Her one child falling in the river? Go away, the elders. The boulder is too heavy for them to hold much longer. We can't let Mount Adult Boulder destroy our village. Let's go help the elders. We're counting on you. <laughs> Arnold and Arnold run off to save the day. Grandpa, Jenna! Garrett, Isaac, you came to help me? Jenna told me about Felix. Is that why you're here? Yes! Good boys! Jenna could use a hand. Great, I'm all charged up. Oh, it's another Arnold. How are you? Have, uh, you recovered your Psy energy? Enough to save Felix. Thanks for the Psy energy stone. Okay, Jenna, you heard him. Now hurry back. The path may be blocked by fallen rocks. You two can show him the way. Or maybe that wasn't Arnold talking. Thank you, Isaac. I don't know who's talking to who. I'm getting all confused here. All right, we got to do. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Forget about saving the kid, let's, uh, go do our own thing. Let's check the inn while we're down here. Anything cool in here? Let's get a room and have a sleepover, guys. Wouldn't that be fun? 
I don't mean like you guys, the viewers, I mean the four dudes who are like absorbed into my body as I walk around right now. Uh, no, nothing. I just want to have a sleepover with my gang. I wish I could have touched the Psy Energy Stone personally as well. I kind of thought I would have the Psy Energy, but instead it'll be the Arnold dude, so. What is this little thing here? I have some Psy Energy left. What the? Even that little tiny baby kid has some? You're insulted, man. My guy is at least twice as cool as that baby kid was. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna dwell on it. Just gonna head on back. Controls feel pretty good. You, you can kind of move diagonally and you can like slide along terrain and stuff, so it's pretty good, but uh, I feel like just the walking speed is too slow. Mom, Dad, we're back! Is that you, Jenna? Yes, ma'am! I couldn't find anyone to, who could help. How do you do? Like, the, the kid is literally about to drown any second. You're just in time. And my brother's still- you can see him in the river! He's okay. Felix is alright. Come down here so he can see- oh my god. Like, seriously, these RPGs need to trim the fat, man. <laughs> Get to the effing point. If a kid was really drowning, you wouldn't spend this much time talking about it. That kid is going in the water, isn't he? Oh, here comes a giant boulder. Hurry up and save him. Do anything. Or do nothing. We seen like the boulder fall in slow motion. Oh, like killed everyone. Alright. Fair enough. We were too slow. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go. It's no use. I can't move. Isaac, please get help. It's sad. Alright. Isaac, the boulder, we need to get help. Everyone will drown. Man, they're already dead. Like, where, where do you think they are? What do you mean, will drown? It must be a bad dream. Mom, Dad, Felix, please don't leave me all alone. Alright, where, where should I go get help from? Should I go back to the village? That cool. That big boulder did come. Good good news, bad news scenario, everyone. Good news, you don't gotta worry about that big boulder. It has fallen. It didn't wipe out the town. Bad news, it kinda killed the whole family. I can't let him go alone. Sound like these? That we men have to stand together. That's a dude? Swore from the, uh, the little, uh, face icon it was a chick. The only thing the two of us, uh, only the two of us survived. Oh. How could we have anticipated Soul Sanctum would unleash such a fury? It's a miracle that even the two of us were spared. That switch, it must have been a trap. But to think it could conjure up a storm this powerful. Another demonstration of the awesome powers of alchemy. Regardless, we must not fail the next time we challenge Soul Sanctum. Next time, we shall. Certainly. Isaac, wait! Like, I swear from that, that little, uh, ginger kid, it's a girl, right? Like, this, this, I guess it's Garrett, but like, look at the face. Were you just eavesdropping us now? Eavesdropping on us right now? Yes! Isaac! Okay, like, look at that kid. I mean, I guess I could kind of see how it's a boy, but it really does look like a girl with a ponytail or something. They look scary, Isaac. Are you sure you should be talking to them? <coughs> Give me a choice. I will say yes. You must forget everything you heard. Don't worry. Uh, we'll help you forget. They're gonna men in black us. Oh, they're gonna help us forget forever by murdering us. Mystery women and mystery man. Who should we attack? Let's go for mystery woman. 
Gonna really lay into her. Hey, uh, three damage. Oh God, should have killed Isaac. 43 points of damage. Isaac goes down. 48 points of damage. Garrett goes down. Isaac's party's been defeated. <laughs> well, that's it for us. Like, well, whatever. And off they go. Alright, well, that was, they were a little more skilled than us. I'll give it to them. But I think they'll be around two. Golden Sun. I like that, how that was a little prologue from Camelot Industries. Or was it Camelot? Came, came a lot. Cam Camelot. Oh my god. <laughs> Philomena Kunks ruined me. I guess it's Camelot Industries, but I raise it, read it as Camelot because of Kunk. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Three years later. Oh wow. It's not, it's not frequently you play a Super Nintendo game that starts with a whole village literally being murdered. That little kid didn't survive. I thought we were going to save him with Psy Energy. I, I kind of like the sort of, uh, you know, um, intensity with which this game started off. It's interesting. Isaac, haven't you finished mending the roof yet? Uh, you're almost done. Okay, keep at it. I guess Isaac has grown up. Is this Jenna or whoever whose brother died? Hiya! Okay, Garrett looks more like a dude now. Hee <laughs> hee. Still training, Garrett? There's Garrett. Yeah, like, look at it. Now he looks more like a dude. He, I swear he, when he was a little boy, he looked like a girl. Hiya! Oh. It's pushing rocks. You sure do put your heart into it, Garrett. It's the only way to do it, Jenna. Oh, I'm just finishing up. That's good. It's time to go, and I was about to leave you behind. Say, what exactly happened to you two? The accident three years ago. Is that why you've been studying Psy Energy? I appreciate your concern, but my family's never coming back, and neither is Isaac's father. Man, it's pretty dark. Pretty dark. Just want to forget that day. I wish everyone would. That awful day. Uh, we went to get help, but they found us unconscious. Well, let's get Isaac and go to the Cradens. I swear if there had been less dialogue about Psy Energy and I'm here, come down here, save your brother, they would have saved that kid and gotten out of there. It was just like... All the dilly-dallying adds up in an emergency, you know? Like, get your shit together and get it done. I'm telling you, man. Uh, you were about to say something, weren't you? Nope. And nope. Don't be weird, Garrett. Nobody likes a weirdo. Whatever. Whatevs. Uh, Jenna, are you mad at me? I'm not mad, Garrett. Just disappointed. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, holy Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, frankly. Look, Garrett, Jenna, whatever your stuff is, just... Save it for the sequel, man. Where's Isaac? That kid didn't- that kid didn't have feelings. He was a doer. There he is, he's mending a roof, not talking to anyone. That's my kind of, uh, RPG hero. You know, you know, there's using the force, and then there's being lazy. Like, that is, like, right by his feet. And imagine instead of bending over and picking up some twigs, you floated them over and, you know, like, to a, a foot. That's just a little lazy. I know he's demonstrating his advanced psionic abilities, but... <clears throat> there's a time and a place, Isaac. It's called showboating. Look it up. All right, roof mended. I need to go on my cosmic adventure now, Mom, and there's more vermin to slay, and... I don't know. Whatever. I think I answered yes to something. I really wasn't paying attention. Uh, working yourself to the bones, studying psi energy. Do you think things would have turned out differently if you had stronger abilities? Yes! That's what I thought. 
And I was devastated when Kyle died. I felt all alone. It's taken some time, but it's... I'm better now. I still have you, Isaac. You're almost 17. You're so much like Kyle when he was young. Looking forward to seeing where life takes you. Me too. Mom! Hello, Jenna. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Oh, good. This guy's gonna come say good morning, too. Well, if it isn't Garrett, too. Where do you all plan to go today? We're gonna go to Mount Aleph with Creighton. <sighs> so much dialogue, man. I don't know how far we're planning to get in, in this one here today. We'll see. We shall see, but, um, you know. That's all I'll say. We shall see. Um, yeah, let me check something real quick. And you all know the Mount Aleph uh, is the greatest source of alchemy. Blah. 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 I wish I could skip this. Ugh. Oh, my eyes were closed. I was itching my eyes. I think I heard something blink. Might have got something. Oh, did somebody fall through the roof? Garrett, I just fixed that. Oh, man. I feel like this is why in many video games... Um, I don't always follow all the stories. If this story was a fifth of its length, I would pay attention. But it's just pushing the boundaries of, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I think I'm a harsh judge of this. I complain all the time about this. I am very curious where I stand on the spectrum. Like, um, for those of you watching, for, for those of you watching this who didn't play Golden Sun, is this too much story, just enough, or not enough? Um, in my mind, it's way too much. And, like, again, I get what they're trying to do, like, build this background, these characters make you like them. But it's like, interesting things have to happen for that to occur. And I feel like even in TV shows and movies, it's really hard to pull off. There's so many bad movies and bad shows where it's just like the scenes drag on forever. It's like, get to the point. You know? And like, they're good, they're good shows too. They have captivating and interesting scenes. But I guess I feel like, especially when I'm playing a video game, I don't want to watch scenes. I want to be active. I want to be playing. So if you're taking control away from me, it better be damn good. It, be it better be like some of the best scenes I've seen. You know, like I'm talking top tier television here as the standard. If you just have like a mediocre story to tell me, um, it's not gonna it's not gonna cut mustard. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, when the scenes drag on and on, you have long, unskippable cutscenes. Unless it's, like, really captivating and interesting, which it rarely, it almost never is in a video game, I feel like it just, for me, it kind of, like, kills my interest. And it makes me be like, come on, and then I just start skipping dialogue because I don't care anymore. Um, it's like to punish the game, you know? It's like, hey, man, you, you didn't do a good enough job, so as a result, you know, I'm not going to pay attention. It's like a Viking healer, dude. Don't need any healing. Our Cyanergy was given to us by the sacred power of Mount Aleph. Alright. I thought we were entering Mount Aleph. But I guess not. This is like a little temple or something. Oh! Oh! What's happening? You're not planning to sneak up to Mount Aleph, are you? Yes! Mount Aleph is a sacred peak. No one can climb without permission. We gotta go find that Kraken, dude. I have, the problem is I have no flippin' idea where he is. It's gonna take forever to find this guy. Wait, hold on. Maybe he is over here where we started. Let's not... Um... I don't even know what she's talking about. Let's not leave without checking here. Garrett, you make me so mad sometimes. 
The training stone crushed my flowers. Soon for it, just wait and see. Alright. <clears throat> Kraken. Who would that guy... I don't even know what a Kraken dude looks like. So, Kra uh, Kraken came to Vale's to study at Mount Aleph, right? Yeah. Said he was studying Mount Aleph and Alchemy and the like. Mount Aleph, Alchemy, are they related somehow? Um... If there are visitors in this town, we can't use our Psy energy. The ancient laws say the secret of Psy energy can never be revealed. It's alchemy, I bet. Let's see what Mom says. She'll tell us where to go. Looks like the ra it won't rain for some time, so I guess we'll just have to fix it later, Isaac. Okay, she's just only concerned about her roof. Mom sees the world in monetary damages. Veil must remain hidden. Psy energy secrets mustn't fall in the wrong hands. Anyone know Kraden? I'm looking for a dude named Kraden. Not sure if any of you guys have seen this guy. Oh, maybe that's him. Can I get down over there? He's a dude who looks like a dude. I'm supposed to talk to that dude. That might be the guy. Oh, I can get over this way. Slide over here. Oh. Isaac, watch out! Don't get too close to the river. That was a terrible Arnold. <clears throat> Those are just old people. Where is this dude? You created? Do you ever dream of seeing that world outside the village? I'm um, sure. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, I guess we'll try over here. If only they had like a little arrow or a map or just a picture of his face in the upper right corner of the screen. Something so that I knew who this man was and what I'm supposed to do. Because I got no idea. None. <clears throat> No clue whatsoever. I think this is going to end up being one of those games that just give my impression of it aesthetically. We're, we're kind of hitting the, the time I set aside to play this and like nothing has happened. Your old man kraden has got some visitors. Let's go use our Psy energy to scare him. Thank God. You're more of a prankster than I thought, Isaac. I like that. I just need you to show me where he is. Oh, I thought you were going to follow me. I just, I need, who is this guy? Kraden. I'm guessing he's the old man, because they said old man Kraden. If your Psy energy runs low, just walk around, you recover it slowly. Thank you, dude. Oh, stores, I really don't care about any of this stuff right now. Oh, there's that Psy energy crystal. Okay, are you Kraden? Remember uh, to meditate on Mount Ad Adelphi, Adelph daily, yes. Good for you. I don't think I've ever done it, but I'll just say yes. The inn? It's interesting how now there's like people in all these uh, different little uh, buildings. Before there was no one. Oh, Jesus, where is this guy? I've searched every building. What did he say? Well, if it isn't Isaac, just another quiet day in the village. In the Vale. Okay, he's gotta be in here. No. Is this a store? My father also died in that storm three years ago. I'm going to hone my skills. That way I'll be ready for anything. Yeah, being a better swordsman will save you from a falling rock. You live that dream, buddy. You nurse that fantasy. Where's the old man? Come out, you old bag. <laughs> I got a quest I need to start. Seriously, where's this guy? Is this his house? Hello. Now, this is the guy who wants me to prank him. Show me where he's at. Let's do it, man. Let's home invade him and prank him. It will be awesome. Where is he? Why is he? How is he? Oh my god. I have no idea. Like, no clue. Whose house am I supposed to be going to? I don't know. 
No idea. No idea. Do you know anything? People have sort of developed since psi energy, blah, blah, blah. Well, I have to tell you guys, I think as far as we're getting in Golden Sun. All the games of the book, a thousand video games to play before you die. Of course, these days in our quest, you know, when we were playing a lot of retro and indie games and stuff, and, you know, you could actually play the games in the first half hour and stuff. Um, 40 minutes or whatever. We, uh, we got, we got fairly far in some of them and had fun with them. You know, this game, you know, I can already tell even if we do see some action. I mean, so the, the, the combat looked like traditional sort of, um, oh, look at this. Hello. There's clearly something there for us. Um, the combat looked like traditional sort of, you know, turn-based Final Fantasy kind of stuff. Um, which I appreciate. Oh my god, a bunch of puffy, puffies, a bunch of puppies. Wow, what, what an interesting way to log- it's like, better leave those puppies alone. What an interesting way to lock off a path. Oh, there's too many puppies over there. We, we better not venture forth. I, I got nowhere to- I have no idea where we're supposed to go. Um, I feel like this game is sort of a slower paced atmospheric game. I think you have to be okay with kind of taking your time and figuring stuff out and... You know, if I, if that's what I had signed up for and wanted, I think I would be happy. Not that I'm saying that I didn't sign up for it, but just, um, you know, for me personally, I like games that kind of get to it a bit faster and have less of this sort of meandering windiness to it. But f I could see for, you know, a vast many people, like, it's nice to have that sort of, um, oh my God, is, is this the house? Is this where we're supposed to be the whole friggin' time? Rarely physician intrudes themselves to the mayor. And Pauling Group. What's the world come to? This the guy? Here, Craden's guest again. Is this Craden? Are you Craden? Are you Craden? Hello? Okay, I don't know. I thought we stumbled upon it. Anyway, I have no idea where to go. And, um... Yeah, so, you know, with with a game like this, I think, you know, it's it's sort of like enjoying a good book. You, like, cozy up with it and kind of explore. And as long as you're in no rush, I'm sure it's, like, a real fine experience. I mean, the art looks lovely. The combat had that cool 3D effect. The combat seemed like sort of standard Final Fantasy turn-based combat. But, I mean, like, that combat can be fun and strategic. I liked it in uh, Mario RPG for sure. Um... And I gotta say, I was impressed that the story went so dark so early and had that sort of prologue. So I do think that this is the kind of game that I could see having a really interesting story and that I would probably like. Um, but I would just have to sit down. I This is the kind of game where it's like you sit down and you plan to spend, uh, you know, eight hours sort of getting into it, that initial hump, not one hour, you know. Um, so I think that's, that's sort of the limiting factor for us here today. Um... I don't know, like, maybe I would come back and try this one someday, you know, so I know I've given it a rough time, and I am admittedly trying to rush through it so we can see a bit more of it, but I don't think that's going to happen. But just from, like, an aesthetic and a storytelling perspective, it's not, it's not, like, not intriguing. So those are my thoughts of it. I don't know, I'm sure you guys wish I'd gotten farther, but them's the breaks with the Thousand One Quest. Truly, for these longer games, we really are just sort of sampling them. Um, just to sort of, you know, almost just get a gestalt initial impression of them. So it's more about the experience of just booting up a random new game for an hour and getting to live in that world. And if that's all we intend to do here today, I think we did it. You know, we saw some children drown and, uh, you know, it was a great time. So guys, what do you, I, I am really curious for people who have played Golden Sun, how does it pick up and what makes it unique and interesting? You can let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, I hope you did enjoy this uh, just very brief look at the game. If you did, like the video, subscribe. And if you didn't, go in the comments and give me hell. But uh, either way, I hope you guys did have some fun here today. And uh, I hope I will see you again in the next video. Uh, so until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And peace.